Hello everybody and welcome to this match of the uh, Blitz Pit. We've started with a Blitz. Um, <laughs> so this is Yak versus KFOG, uh, day 2 of Blitz Pit, 11am. Uh, I'm Jimmy Fantastic, with me in the booth is Trifikikikik and Skuro Metso, if he's still alive or away. <laughs> hey guys, I think Skuro's still AFK, okay, but... Oh, instant getting served. Well, right now, he doesn't no, have to. No, he's got stun firm. Yep. Oh. An incredible use of stun firm there. Um, yep. Happy days. Happy days for Yak. But, uh, yeah, the, these two play. The, what's this? Is this the. Uh, there's eight people left in, isn't there? So this is like the semi final of the loser's bracket, essentially. Um. Or the quarterfinal of the loser's bracket. It's hard to work out what what to call anything. Um, so, yeah, these two met in the qualifiers. And in that match, Yak made seven Kaz and three KOs. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, I don't think he'll be quite as lucky this time around. Obviously, he started with a blitz against him. Um, I do like Yak's build. Like, as long as it stays on the field, it's pretty. it's a pretty risky build, isn't it? Only 11 men. Um... But it's pretty pretty powerful. I like the guards, stand firm dudes, and I like the uh, mighty blow tacklers. It's it's got quite a lot against elves, hasn't it? <laughs> that's scatter, unbelievable. That's about as good a scatter as Yak could have got. I mean, it is as good a scatter as, as Yak could have got, apart from touchback is the dream. Yeah, yeah. Apart from touchback, yeah, that's pretty amazing. So, Wait, wasn't it supposed to be Rick? Nope. <laughs> really? Rick lost. <laughs> yeah, <Rick's> out. <laughs> to K Fog. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. And now it's innocent cards. <laughs> Continuing where they left off. <laughs> yeah, we got yeah. absolutely bodied by uh, by uh, PTK. Um, All right. Well, I poured my coffee, so <laughs> things will get better in the next thirty seconds. Glorious. <laughs> Hello Kefo everyone. Lost game one to dwarves and had to fight his way all the way back from that. Yeah. So. Yeah, we cast that game. <laughs> it was, uh, I, we were all, I, we were all just kind of writing the game off after Kefo good scored to. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, Yak okay. might be in a bit of trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even but at least he had stand firm. Now, don't you? Whoa! Shouldn't he have just chained? Shouldn't he have chained away? I think he should catcher, have yeah. Away. The, the instant chain he had on. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would have chained the catcher away. I think this is. Yeah. This is the worst case scenario. Right? What just happened? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep, okay. You're, you're catching the ball. Okay, it's okay. Yeah, he's got three dice. In, but... Oh. Oh, lucky scatter on the That's the thing. Yeah. That was about the best he could have hoped for out of all of that. Yeah, I think that. I think honestly, I think PTK should have. If he if he chained the catcher out, I think that would have been better than this. Wow, and he goes all in on getting the pal. The blitz there. Oh, I guess he wanted to pick up on. He must have wanted to pick up on this guy then. I don't know. Uh, that was uh, that was quite quite a lot of eggs in one basket there, wasn't it? Still a disaster for Yak. Oh yeah, it's still an absolute disaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was a bit of a messy yeah. turn, I think, from Kfog. Maybe he's just woken up after playing Battle Brothers for 12 hours continuously and he's not looking <laughs> very well. <laughs> yep. Demi was playing. So I am. Um, well. <laughs> oh, nice. I played Among Us. I played Among Us with the with the crew of General mm. Blood Bowl Among Us people last night, mm. and uh, I, I hadn't played in a while, and I was I was real bad, <laughs> and uh, I was I was fine as a crew, but. My second game, I didn't tell anyone this, but my second game as imposter, 
I spent the first half of the game thinking I was crew and thinking all, <laughs> thinking all of my fucking tasks were bugged. <laughs> <laughs> I kept running up to the thing. I, I mean, it just wouldn't work because I'd look at the map and it gives you the fake task to go do, and I'd be like, "Why isn't it yellow?" <laughs> It's amazing. I was like, I shouldn't ask because, like, that might sound a little weird. And then I was like, it's oh, it's just... to ask you. <laughs> Why can't I do any of these tasks on the map? <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. That is brilliant. I can't lie, that's brilliant. Yeah, I think this was a, a very, uh,. A very poor capitalization by uh, by K Fog. I really do think that chain not catcher like chain the catcher away and then dodging people around could have put him in a much stronger position. For sure. Uh, will he get another guy Kaz now? <laughs> so what do you do if you're if you're K Fog here? Is it just the one dice? Oh uh, it's probably uh, it's probably yeah, dodge one D and then dodge again, yeah. Uh, I mean, no, 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 no. He could. Oh, he, do you know what? PTK might go for the uh, three plus dodge into a two D. He likes to make three plus dodges, and then he could, he could block him as well, couldn't he? And then just run straight through. Not have to dodge from tackle then. That three plus fails though. It's such a disaster. So, oh. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, but now he's on tackle. <laughs> oh, but that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? So that's the thing, like that one. He's still making a 1 in 6. Uh, well, it's a 1 in 36 to fail, but then, you know, two one, two 1 in 6s. I mean, does he block now and try to reinforce? Not that sure. No, he's a dodge. No, he oh, yeah, because the guard was around, it made it pretty hard. Yeah. And now his witch elf is going to get ogred. <clears throat> you think it's all ogre? Uh, uh. It is now. No, it's not. Oh, 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 that's not great. <laughs> it's temporarily over for that guy. That's about how his dodges went against uh, Yak last time they played. <laughs> Every dodge <laughs> self removed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, it's interesting. I do. You know, I have seen PTK make those three plus dodges where it's a bit greedy, but there's a bit of a payoff. So I wouldn't have put it past him doing it. Is can he hit with a blitzer here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI. Yeah, he can. Should have GFI, shouldn't he? PTK. Yeah. Yeah. He, ha he had to do the GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI. He had to do the GFIs, didn't he? Like it's too easy for your opponent to roll 3-2-2, two, two, isn't it? Or just 3-2 in this case. Instead of, I guess instead of risking the ball carry, he decided to do the 3-plus, plus, 3-plus, plus, 2-plus with dodge, which is what he was doing at the end when he removed himself. Yeah. And then he could cut that off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I forgot that yeah. happened already. <laughs> yeah. Hey! <laughs> hey, fails the GFI, all in from Yak. He's not going to have much of a recovery here if he gets the ball out. Yeah, he just needs to cast this guy, basically, <laughs> stun him. Yeah. Well, oh, he got stun. that. Very, uh, very good for... He can dodge the catcher out now. Yak. Yeah, Yak might be able to recover this. But, uh, I mean, even if he does recover this drive, he might still struggle with the <laughs> score, might he? Yeah. Not Goes unless he has nice. a bit. That ogre, okay. though, could take this witch elf out in a second here. Would you do that one dice, Jimmy? I think I probably would have just done the dodge immediately. Yeah, I think I would have done the dodge then, as well. This is so important. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I would have just got the ball. <laughs> yeah, I think that was dem Yeah. <laughs> the land or one dice, I don't know what what the thinking was behind that. <laughs> would you have done this one dice? Uh, no. <laughs> No, but I mean, you know, like that's the thing. In his minute turns, it's uh, it's not easy uh, for these guys. And the guy did not get all good. He just must have run out of no. time. No, I'm oh, surprised Rick's they did not hit the witch elf. 
but I mean, I guess like you, it's only a two D with the ogre, and uh, yeah. if it boneheads, then it gives it gives the blitzer a two, a two plus away. Um, but you, I don't think you're losing that much by it failing, and if you power it, it's brilliant, isn't it? Plus, I guess it, having the witch on stun firm is pretty nice for Yak. Oh, wow. Gayfug loves dodging. Loves his dodging, but he doesn't get it in the end. Good job he's got sidestep now. I guess he's yeah. not going to save him from just getting ta mighty bro tackled <laughs> to death. But <laughs> but he won't get surfed, Jim. He won't get surfed. No, probably not. <laughs> no, definitely not. He's got a double players, no. has he? Now the ogre has a three dice. Yeah, now now he now he will hit with the ogre. Yeah, I think if he if he boneheads, then the... oh, <laughs> tries to go for a first there you go. There you go. Man. You got too excited there. That's the thing though, right? Because if he'd done that last turn, the witch elf would have had a one d into a two d to free up the the bloodshed. So, I, th yeah. I think that was a good shout to not not uh, oh dear. Oh, it doesn't. I guess he can just dodge. He's just got the yeah. got the dodge. I don't like the end position there for the tackle mighty blow. I, I mean, guess that's so. fair enough because he only has one reroll, so. Uh, yeah, and he's. The drive's fucked if he rerolls that. Yep, and K-Fog's K -Fug's got two rerolls, so, like, by putting the both dodges on the one tackler, it, uh, you know, it might suck a reroll out of him next turn, mightn't it? But he's not going to be able to move the ball up and protect it at all if he can't get these other blocks off. I guess he can get one guy down there. He can get another one, he can make another 1D. You see the, the prescience yeah. of Yak to make that 1D the turn before. <laughs> <laughs> Seemingly at random, will now maybe free up another mighty blow tackler. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Now he's just got to make this dodge. Yeah, it's a pretty huge dodge. Gets it. Makes it. Made it made it colorful, but he made it. Does he protect protect this spot? <laughs> uh, maybe just <laughs> yeah. He's just gonna put everyone in. Are we eye caging here? We are. Yeah. There you go. What a what a clever boy Yak was making that seemingly random one D the turn before. It was to free his tackle mighty the second turn. You see oh. this is absolute four D chess from Yak. Brilliant stuff. Oh. <laughs> ha the half death star coming at you hard. Mm. So do you two you could two die with block air or you could uh move the lineman and then bring the tackle in and one dice with tackle. Yeah, I think one day with tackles better, isn't it? I guess what you should do is just not use reroll. So you should do pretty go pretty conservative here, seeing as Yak's still in his own half with four turns left. You should try and you know not fail. Which elf? Which elf can give the assist, can it? And then he could have two D for one day. I think that was the best play. Oh, the dub's out again. <laughs> the witch elf dodge wouldn't have gone so well. <laughs> oh, she couldn't have reached anyway. She was at the GFA. Disregard. Gets the pow. Yes, he does, and he does have a recovery there, but it's probably going to be in a tackle zone, yep. It's not going to bother. Prime <laughs> time, Kevin. Him. Yeah, that was an absolute god scatter for him, really, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Maybe. I mean, god scatters maybe is a bit strong, but it was almost as well as he, almost as good as he could have hoped for. Like, obviously, it would be better going to the going to the lineman and scattering off him, but as far as what's realistically possible, and then the good old run away, that's that's looking pretty strong. Yeah, he's got with us one lineman on the right here. That can kind of get up to this, you know, blodge temper and do something. <laughs> but otherwise, he's pretty fucked right now. Oh, I guess his uh, catcher can get up um, there, too. Yeah, he can, take can a clear the side with step. The yeah. yeah, the, the lino can clear the side step to one of these yeah. two back squares. Then this lino can block here. And then he did not need that assist because he could have done this yeah. block first. So this is, a, this is a misplay by Yak, isn't it? That This lino could have been assisting the hit on the ball. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't like that. That's, that's poor from the act, to tell you the truth. Because this line always guaranteed to push him to one of the back, one of the back squares. And that line could have assisted the blitz on the ball. That was, yeah, he's done goofed. Sorry, Yak. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Yak, but a dude who's played 12 hours. <laughs> oh. One and oh, nines Whoa, and injures himself. That was a go for the two dives. That that was, a hard punish there. That was horrible. That, I mean, that was genuinely horrible. I, I, know, I know he's only got one reroll, and he wouldn't want to use a reroll on the 2D, like blocking a blockless block. But, I mean, he could have even blocked with block. Yeah, he, he could have done it with the catcher. Yeah, yeah. the fact that he brought in that assist first meant that he, he there was a bit of a payoff and then he could have hit with a catcher. Um, but I feel like that was... And plus that like that guy could have been his recovery as well. I feel like that was poor. You know, no offence, Yak. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it is, it is tough, isn't it? There's, he there's... doesn't seem like a person who takes a lot of offence. <laughs> That's true, that's true. He'd be all offensed out if he did. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, uh, I, yeah, it's like, it's a tough, isn't it? It's a tough format, Blitz Pit. Um, we've all played it, so it's like, it's pretty grueling playing the, like, the multiple games and that and you know obviously even even the next day like the hangover after last night he only he played three games did he yak last night or two two or three so it's a loser's bracket so we played three so yeah you know and it's a minute and it's obviously k fog is about is about as good as it gets as far as a blood bowl coach goes so it's understandable, isn't it? Pressure as well. Thousand euros total prize pool. Highest quality Blood Bowl tournament of all time, probably. Yeah, yeah, I played Shani, Rigor, and uh, Diamond yesterday, mm. so. Yeah, I mean, it's not, that's not easy, is it? <laughs> Imagine going to a tabletop tournament and playing them three. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and he's still got the dodge hit, doesn't he? Three, four, five, six, seven GFI. So, only a 1D though, currently. I guess, I guess he dodges out the other blitzer. Yeah, dodge out the other blitzer and GFI and dodge him out, GFI. I mean, it's rough, but. There's not much yeah. else he can do, is there? Uh, he could act. Well, he could get that catcher over on the right over with could two have. GFIs instead of a dodge. He but... could have brought that line when he just moved in with just a double GFI. Mm. Just gonna cast people instead. <laughs> <laughs> Probably best. Yeah, for I think that helps. I think that catcher is coming over. Yeah, I think yeah. that catcher is double GFIing out, GFIing to get over there to make it a two D. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, this is a lot Got of no recovery now, though. Yeah. No, there's no recovery whatsoever. All right. He does actually have a screen in front of him. Uh, either way, with that, it's not bad. Yeah. And he gets um. But the no recovery makes getting him almost yeah. pointless. Especially with no follow GFI up, I to keep a screen. No follow up. Oh, and he fails the GFI. That was a pretty wild no follow. Yeah, I think it was the idea was to keep the screen, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I think. Yeah, but, I mean, the he chance, would've, he would've, the chance to like get the gods scatter onto yourself, or... Oh, yeah, I mean, I would hear you. He would have kept so the good. screen if he'd followed, though. He would have been in front of the... Uh, no, because then, the, then, the, uh, then the, the runner could have hit the line. Ah, uh, yeah, he could just hit the lineman, yeah. And cracked it open. Yeah. All right. Yeah. K-Fog's playing so, so fast today. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's it, you know, because PT, uh, PTK, Yak ran out of time one turn, didn't he? So maybe that's what he's thinking, try to keep the pressure on Yak by playing faster. Maybe. Well, that's certainly what he alluded to when he was talking about how fast he was playing. Uh, he said to somebody, he said, like, uh, 
plays pretty fast anyway, so it's like somebody I don't know who, I don't know who it was that was criticizing. Maybe it was you, Squirrel, saying that he, he was like he was you know doing the moves super quick and he said he was. No, that's it. not that's not a word I would generally say because uh, I believe in <laughs> doing the moves faster than your brain can function. <laughs> well, someone said to him about like how he was you know he's doing the moves really quick. And he said that he was he was doing it on like you know maybe it was Dio so, yeah because Dio was on with us wasn't he once? Oh um, uh, yeah, he said that, that does was sound like something Dio would say. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and he said like that was a tactic that he thought if he would you know he plays fast anyway, so if he goes even faster and just goes off instinct, then his opponents have got less time to think and keep up with it. Well, I mean, so that thought. was the, that was the tactic that I said with my with my first effort with the Camry. I was like, well, if I can just play my turns in eight seconds <laughs> with Camry, they're gonna ha they're they're gonna always be on their back foot trying to figure it out. The problem is, uh, I had I ended up misclicking a Doom Guardian at one point doing that. So, oh. <laughs> also, the problem was you were Camry, and what they had to figure out was he's gonna two dice me with everybody. <laughs> Yeah, well, the, uh, yeah, that was the other thing is I ended up playing Blizzard, so it was like the one team that didn't quite care about my strength and card advantage. It wasn't great. Yeah, yeah Lizard's uh, not something you ever want to be facing, really, are they? No. I thought it was going to be a good matchup going into that match, but it just, that was the, the reason, was like, I just could not bully him nearly enough. <laughs> This is quite a good. This is quite a good bit of pressure from Yak, isn't it? I mean, apart from the fact it's on his drive and he definitely hasn't scored, and he's out of free rolls. Um, <laughs> yeah. Good recovery, I think, is the word we're looking for. Here. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good, good, for, good pressure on the ball. But uh, I mean, yeah, still just a, three. a little tough tough, hard to score. He just dodges. He just dodges away from tackle. There's 100 percent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Passes to the other guy. Yeah, he's got the, the open lineman if he wants. Yeah, that the fact that the lineman is open, or oh, maybe he could just hand off to the witch then. Maybe he's going to hand off to that witch. One, two, three. Oh, it's only turn five, seven. Five, yeah, yeah. Five, six, seven. The, the fact that the fact that the witch is there, <laughs> it, mysteriously in hand off range, <laughs> it makes me think that he might be going to hand off to the witch. Yeah, I think you might be onto something. <laughs> And then and then he can stand on the other side and then he'll be he'll be completing the kid. Oh god, he's really going for it. I guess it's two plus to complete the cage anyway, isn't it? Still not easy dodging, but no worries. <laughs> <laughs> None at all. Oh he's not handing off. I mean I guess he only gets him one square away, but he's passing. Wow. He's passing into the blitzer. Oh, okay. Yeah, because now now half of Yak's team is irrelevant. Is he going to foul the mighty blow tackler? Uh, sure yeah, is. I guess so. Yeah, Yak likes Yak likes the uh, Yak. Kfog likes the odd foul. I've noticed. I've noticed he fouls. You know, maybe he's got some dice hack, so he always gets a stun. But I've noticed he always fouls like you know super important players. Like he'll always foul a war dancer or. Or uh, in the last match, he was fouling somebody. I can't remember who it was. Um, oh, the wrestle tackler and stuff for uh, for, for Rick. Pretty rowdy with an eleven-man roster. Yeah, <laughs> and one yeah. already gone. Exactly. That's why I noticed it. Yeah, he's he yeah. He, he goes. I for guess those in fouls. in his mind, though, if he scores here, like it's over because yeah. he just has the two turn and then he's in a great spot. Yeah, I still don't think he would two turn. Though. I still think he would just do an Elliot yeah. drive. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just score like as soon as it's easy though, with a, like no dice. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? That I have elves without freedom to score whenever they like is just horrible. Horrible to defend against. Oh god. Can he even get anything in the way? Yeah, he can a little bit, but not much. <laughs> Put stand firm in front of him. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you can. You could even base the ball with stand firm. 
probably fill the fill the GFI. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Jim knows because that's what would have happened to him. <laughs> there was basically no chance of succeeding that GFI. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Yak was probably wanting to get hit so that he could side. Hey, K Fog was probably hoping to get hit so he could have sidestepped into range. <laughs> this is a little greedy, isn't it? This hit. Um, like he has got a GFI with one one reroll. But I guess if you double school, you'd have filled the GFI anyway, is the logic. But yeah. It's flawed logic. No, I mean, he had to clear. He had to clear. Oh, the handoff is safer than oh. the GFI, of course. You can't die in a handoff. Very good. Yep. That's the sort of thing where you get one of the probably the best blood bowl player of all time compared to the dude who's just walking up after 12 hours of battle with us. <laughs> there you go. Well done. Well done, K Fog. <laughs> Working out the handoff is better than a GFI. <laughs> I mean that that all started that all started from what a one in eighty one off a of yak. Yeah, into just not even a one in eighty one, a, a particularly unlucky one in eighty one because it was into the yeah. good schools because he had block, like so it wouldn't have even mattered if he'd won in nine after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have so, to be I mean, fair, Jimmy. Yeah, yak did Apo might have well. woken up from twelve hours of Battle Brothers as well. <laughs> he hasn't though. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't because he was calling me insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he might have woken up about like you know a couple of hours of Battle Brothers, but I don't think he was quite as insane as me. Um, I mean, a little bit of credit to Yak there. He did kind of recover, gave himself some shots when like on turn two, we all just assumed it was over. Yeah, yeah, a little sticky I mean, for him. But. Yeah, he was always going to play hard, wasn't he, and do as as well as he could. And uh, he did get in, he did get in he did get K Fog into some like tricky spots, didn't he? Um, he definitely did. Did well. He did well apart from when he massively fucked it up. Yeah. <laughs> K-Fog was on Battle Brothers when he woke up this morning. All right, fair enough. Fight. And then maybe he hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it wasn't twelve hours of Battle Brothers. Maybe it was just like four or five or six or something. But uh, yeah, so fat and thinks K-Fog fucked up there. Hello, right to help the miss and the dwarf guide. Oh man, um, the dwarf guide is give everyone guard. And then uh, just make two dice blocks continuously. <laughs> Alternatively, if you're struggling with your dwarves, the best strategy you can have is to get hired by G uh, GW, work there for a few years, work your way up the ladder a little bit, start endearing yourself to upper management so that they'll trust you with one of their uh, write-off uh, specialist games. And then uh, once you finally get your moment, you can take it and you can rewrite that game around your team so that you'll no longer ever have to struggle again. <laughs> you'll, always, you'll only struggle a little bit less. <laughs> 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 but yes, that yeah, that's a good strat. That is that is a good strat. I can't argue with that score. <laughs> right. Yeah, there's there's the witch and already in scoring position can basically just hand off to her at any point right I now. I really don't like that. Um, How's he gonna protect her? Yeah. yeah, his game against Rick. He used he used Lyman as those decoy octopi or octopoles. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, no. Don't, Jim. <laughs> it's too early. Okay, Phil getting a little wild here. He is, yeah, the pass he? in front of an ogre and a tackled <laughs> And now he's going to hand off. Yeah. He is. He's going right in on it. He is not waiting for the opportune turn. This is how he's going to protect it. I mean, oh. it's a it's this one is... one dodge will mostly. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, is no, uh, not a dodge. yeah. This is <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, even eight. I mean, he's got a double GFI to screen, and then yeah, he's got he's got a dodge double GFI. There's no other option, is there? This was fucking rowdy. Yeah. This is one. Yeah, of he the just ways. wants to, he wants to sneak in around to Battle Brothers before his next game. I think. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. we're down to here. <laughs> okay, one GFI, yeah, and then that that min that that's one GFI is enough to get on the diagonal for the blitzer. Okay, that was that was clever. <laughs> but still, if you try GFI to think of if you try to think of ways Yak could get back in this game, that turn 
might have been one of the best ways to get back in the game for Yak. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, that was that was rowdy. <laughs> um I think Kefo let Rick take over for a turn or something. <laughs> Maybe this is this is like what, two GFIs for and a dodge for a two D on the board? <laughs> and the way his guys are staggered, he still has the uh the tackle can just go one three plus through. Yeah, exactly, yeah, just dodge through that dodge through that gap. Mm. Yeah. And he's got the he's got the guard catcher. The guard catcher can come in in the corner there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One GFI for the catcher in there, and then the blitzer. One, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, only one GFI. What, dodging a yeah. GFI for two two dice. And he's not taking it. He might, but he's just doing a bollocks <laughs> GFI first. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was better. Oh, that was double GFI. It was better to have the one GFI. Oh, oh he was going with. Yeah, okay. He well. should have used his guard. Well, he could have yeah. been assisting with one GFI there. Yeah. And he gets the POW. Right. And the Kaz or not. <laughs> yeah, this guy didn't not do anything. <laughs> he, he could have. Goes right oh, to God, the other guy. Unlucky. That was unlucky. But this this Blitz is doing nothing, is he? He could have GFI'd him with a guard. That yeah. was. And then this guy would have been free. Oh no, this guy was over. Where was this guy? This guy was over here, wasn't he? I guess so this is where he, this is the only place this this guy could have got to. To be fair, but I still think he shouldn't have done it. Yeah, I think he should have done the GFI from the uh, catcher first. I think I would have uh, I I would have risked the dodge one to the right with that tackle mighty blow because this this blitzer that caught the ball can score. Yeah, it's just the two plus. It's three two pluses. And yeah. the game was over. Yeah, maybe so I'd take, the, I'd take the, the three plus. Even though he'd already used his reroll, I think I'd still have to take the three plus to close off the. Uh, a three plus two line. plus it would have been, but yeah, I think I think he had to. Yeah, this is too easy. This is too. Oh, easy. did he have a GF? Did he have a GFI with that too? Yeah, it would have been. Uh, but okay. it, but again, you know, people say Blood Bowl's a game of risk management. Well, it's not, is it? It is like there is more to it than just that. Yeah. And he's probably gonna chain himself yeah. forward here too. Yep. <laughs> oh, dirty Dino. Yeah, yeah. Dirt. yeah, he's got so many players, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh, God, chain himself. Oh, that's that's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Does he have enough players here? Yeah, yeah, he's got a li little line on here. Yeah, yep. the other blitz can just line punch him. And then... Yeah. Yeah, it's a lovely little chain, isn't it? So it's only it's only gonna be Oi Whoa Oh no PTK, what are you <laughs> I thought, thought the I battle thought Battle Brothers that taking it, effect. What yeah, in the makes the first GFI and fails the second. He kinda maybe he deserves to fail this GFI now. Maybe he does. <laughs> wow. That would have been pretty justified. <laughs> that was rotten, wasn't it? <laughs> I was I mean, so sure he was going for the chain. Yeah, with having the two people there, it was yeah, it was obvious to try. That, well, he he has a tendency to pop in after his matches. That'll be question number one. Yeah, I mean, I'll be question honest, number I two. Didn't, <laughs> I didn't spot it, but I am off a, I am off a Question number one will be the turn before that. <laughs> yeah, 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 true. Yeah, one and one A though. <laughs> I am coming up my Battle Brothers marathon, so. <laughs> okay, I'm not that much shorter than Try. I've got to believe. Try sounds like he's like five ten. He's six I'm foot six four. four. He sounds five ten to me. <laughs> How do I sound five ten? I just you, you, you just got that five ten kind of sound. <laughs> like Jim Jim sounds five eleven that he lies and says he's six one, but. <laughs> No, no, I say I'm, I'm saying five eleven. <laughs> I've never understood anybody lying about their height. It's just fucking out tall. Yeah, no, neither, neither have I, neither have I. But it's become a meme, so I had to yeah. point out. Yeah, no, no, it's fair enough. It's fair. Out the photo ID, girl, just for you. <laughs> no, it's yeah. fair enough. It is definitely a meme, especially in like pro sports. Isn't to be it? fair, my license, my license. I got my license before like my last growth spurt. 
and it says I'm five foot five, and they never update that. So for the last for the last twenty four years, my license has said I'm five five. <laughs> it's funny, Wanger got got went to hospital for some reason, and he got measured, and they said he was six foot eight, but um. He was like, he's only a tall 6'7", and he said, I've never felt the need to try and get the extra inch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he is like, you know, he's, he's definitely higher than normal doors. <laughs> Aren't, like, most, like, like, older buildings in the UK, like, designed for, like, averagely shorter people, too? I remember a friend of mine visited a bunch of like country houses in the UK when he was visiting his family and he's like I hit my head on so he's like 6'2 he's like I hit my head on so many door frames there because they're all like 6 foot door frames I don't think I've ever seen a 6 foot door frame in my life but I mean these actually, are like these are like probably like old farmhouses or whatever but yeah but still, may yeah. maybe some yeah maybe some things like that I guess that happened with me as well Scarrow because my ID says I'm 6'2 so yeah <laughs> well Oh, JFW, 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 ing yourself there, try with the extra two. Yeah, inches. yeah, in reverse, the, the, the U.S. Department of Motor Vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> See, five foot door frames. Holy shit. All right, fair enough then. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure it's only like country, like old, like like 150 or 200 year old country houses. Oh wait, no, it's England, 400 year old country <laughs> houses. We don't get to talk in more than like 100 years old. Well, Try doesn't get to talk in more like 30 years old, probably. Is that how long have people been living in Texas? Like 40 years, 45 years? Is that right? How long have the Alamo? been living in Texas? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Scar? <laughs> well, I mean, compared to, like, around here, where, like, most of the towns are formed in, like, the 1600s. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, that's where that's where the, uh, the loonies yeah. landed, wasn't it? Yeah, the loonies, yes. <laughs> Our forebears, thank you very much. Those Puritan people who, who founded my state and were like, you can't buy alcohol on Sundays. And we still have that law for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I think that's I think that's a fair thing to call a loony. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> you sure you were living in a bar? <laughs> we had our towns early on, Scarlet. It was just the Spanish instead of yeah. the British. Yeah, but none of those towns none of those towns still exist today is more I guess more my point. Like like my my hometown, right? I grew up in Stowe, Massachusetts, which was founded in like sixteen forty five or something like that. <laughs> you don't think San Antonio retained its original Spanish name? <laughs> San Antonio. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> San Antonio Clash. Who's that? Is that is that uh, LFL? <laughs> I've heard of San Antonio Clash. I might have outed myself as a dirty perv. <laughs> Are we both googling when San Antonio was founded right now? Yeah, seventeen eighteen. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with that weak ass shit. <laughs> 1718 is pretty old. Not that old. <laughs> 300 years. That's reasonable. The, uh, oh, look at this. Here we go. <laughs> he's trying to. He's trying to get Jim. Oh. No, not quite. Not quite. No. I think it's recoverable. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate the effort from Yak, though. Yeah, it's yeah. one win condition, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, it's. Uh, yeah, I've done the yeah. same. Um, there was a great game that I played semi recently yes, against but... Amazon's, where I had to, I did two long bombs in the match. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Ali, Ali and Marzen, we I wasn't bragging about it. <laughs> I was just saying, like, I was very specifically pointing out that we don't have a lot of old stuff, but we're the oldest stuff we have by European colonist standards is in New England. <laughs> So yeah, Kfog not going for the reroll there because he'd already used one. Oh my god, you lucky <laughs> bastard! <laughs> Styling and profiling. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Because uh, yeah. he just, he, I guess he thinks even at two 0 up, if he goes the rest of the match without rerolls, he can lose, can't he? So I, I like the no reroll there. Uh, <laughs> I like it even more when you fucking guy gets it anyway. 
Jesus Christ, lucky bastard. <laughs> oh yeah, how old's Australia? Yeah, that's that why I said colonists try. <laughs> yeah, that is a very good point, yeah. <laughs> that is a good point. <laughs> We just uh, we just named all of our uh, all of our like rivers and uh, and end hills around here. Skrogs, there he goes again, whitewashing history. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> He's don't don't get into quick try. Seventeen eighty eight, really? God, that's like pretty recent, isn't it? Like but at the same know. time, when you think about, like, the technology of, like, you know, the time, like, getting to Australia from England just to drop a bunch of cunts that you could have dropped in the ocean <laughs> in, like, I know, right? seems like a lot of effort. Doesn't it just? Were, were they, like, working? <laughs> was, it, was it, like, was it, like, were they slaves? Is that the idea? Well, they were. I thought they were like mostly like it was formed as like a prison colony, was it? I mean, probably yeah. not originally, but so like the idea was kind of like slave labor then from the penal colony, rather than just like dumping them there. Because if you dumped them there, you could have, you yeah. could have just dumped them in the water, yeah. couldn't you? <laughs> yeah, cocky. Well, cocky, you're talking to two, two, two out of three Americans. So uh, prisoner and slave is the same thing in our country. We just rebranded slavery as, uh, you know, the penal system in America. The penal system. Pretty much. I've seen yeah. a lot of adverts for, uh, for I've noticed whenever the whenever the NFL's on, there's loads of adverts for, like, Viagra and stuff, so... Yeah, erectile dysfunction. Yeah, they do. They do love a penile. They, they know their demographic, and they know it well. Is this going to end up being a, a surf on the ogre? <laughs> yeah, it's looking it like it is. A one and a two. Yep. Nope. No, it's <laughs> not a surf. Yeah, it was pretty much like not risk-free, but it was. It was uh, wasn't crazy, was it? Just roll dice now, can't eat. Yeah, PTK I mean, let's go. It? Let's go, Yak. Four plus dodge, two die. Uh, with the with the ogre on the blitz, the t or, excuse me, two GFIs. Easy ball sack here. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Thank you, thank you, Marzum. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, another word for that is slavery, Marzum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that makes sense then. So making get them to work, rather than putting them to work, rather than dumping them in the ocean. What the fuck? Where did that come from, Disguise? <laughs> from the uh, just, just me trying to tenuously connect penal colony with penile uh, colony. Oh, 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 right, 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 right. I already forgot that part of the conversation. It was so terrible. I don't blame you. I just thought he just wanted to inform us about his uh, two passions in life. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good though. Well, it's pretty good going hand in hand. Was 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 pretty fucking good. I thought yeah. to be fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. I don't know. I don't know if you get this phenomenon in the UK, but like when they advertise for like erectile dysfunction medication in like print, they'll always have like some like you know salt and pepper haired like forty five or fifty year old model slightly too young for their for who would actually be using the pills but he's always on like a boat or something with like a really hard like mast in the middle of the boat and you can always see it and it's just like the most ridiculous like visual innuendo you could imagine oh, I've noticed I've noticed the uh, I've noticed the adverts that they do always have yeah they always have that uh, like a fat and like looking character yeah. don't they and like the other one they always do is for like women's like 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 women's menstruation products it's always a woman in a white dress running on a beach yeah 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 but fine are you are you an erectile dysfunction model <laughs> are you still around <laughs> well, yeah. Yes. No. I, I understand the legality between the two. Like, uh, like, like, like. I get all that. That's how we continued to have slavery in America long after we had uh, 
gotten rid of slavery. My point is uh, the moral standing is they're basically the same fucking thing. Right. I'd heard indentured servitude, but I thought... Ge genocide is still genocide, regardless of uh, whether the government's going to prosecute it or not. Uh, in oh, God. Indentured servitude just means that they're uh, wearing false teeth, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a kid last night or something? There's just some dad jokes coming out today. <laughs> this is 12 hours of Battle Brothers. <laughs> what it does to you. I have a Battle Brothers baby. This is probably what Rick felt like when he had to stay up for like, you know, 12 hours a day every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except instead of a crying baby, I've got... <laughs> I've got crying fucking... <laughs> Crying double handers and hatchets. <laughs> I might have had 12 hours yesterday myself. I played like after Blitz, but I pretty much played Battle Brothers until I went to bed. I played it too. So, news from around the league we've got uh, pre PC is currently up one nothing on Davo. It's turn twelve though, um, and yeah. Davo's offense, I believe, so <laughs> that one's one probably you. going to overtime. Another one from the yeah. massive raid from Dimmy fucking G. Hello, Dimmy. Hello, Dim. And who's got the other guy? And calcium's there. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, and then yeah, how did uh, how did your guys' game end up? Calcium and Dim, you were covering on, weren't you? <laughs> we're just talking about lighthearted things here, like erectile dysfunction and slavery. <laughs> when you say it out loud, it's. It sounds pretty Yeah, funny. when you say it a lot, it sounds less uh, lighthearted and wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, don't forget genocide. Don't forget genocide. Oh, God, yeah, 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 yeah. That was only you, to be fair. I tried to. Uh, yeah. I tried to push it under the carpet. <laughs> oh, Regal's already no won. Regal's already won. Um, That's fair. Yeah, no, that that is a fair statement, Marzim. Uh, I guess more my point is. Uh, Indentured servitude uh, got got used to bypass the idea of uh, slavery once slavery was outlawed in the U.S. So it's it's seen as hand in hand. But no, your your statement is it's quite fair. Um, regardless, they're both fucking terrible and uh, should not happen. But we yeah. still, you know, imprison people here and then make them do actual the manual thing, labor for Scarrow, 10 cents a fucking year. Treason is breaking the law and being forced as a, into slavery, and so is our prison system breaking the law <laughs> yeah. and being forced in, so. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, that's more that's more the point I was making, cocky. But like, I don't want to, I don't want to discredit Marzim's statement because it's it's factually correct, absolutely. But like in my, you know. When you're when you're bur when you're boiling it down, it, they they kind of go hand in hand. Do we know what happened in any of the other games? Are they not over yet? Uh, yeah, well, I just said Rick is. Uh, uh, excuse me, Rick. God damn it! Why is Rick on my brain all day? <laughs> um, I know why. He's got that beautiful hair. Um, we are still one nothing PC over Andy Davo, but it's turn thirteen of Davo's drive, and it looks like he still has the ball and a team, so he's probably going to score. Also has three re-rolls to two right now. You know what I don't happened? know what happened. What I think there was what? The, the other game was Calcium. Calcium and Dimmy had a game. I don't know who that was or what happened in it. But yeah, I probably Rego versus Ruzi, and Rego has won 2-0. So, <laughs> so the Lizards yeah, have won 2-0, 1-0, 2-0. Uh, Lizards. <laughs> There you go, Xbox coach in the winners' final. <laughs> That's why you're here, right, Ali? <laughs> no, I've just checked, and um, Fufle and Larkstar, the Kimmy versus the Lizards, are 0 0 on turn 15. Oh, God. Oh, wow. That's a wild one. Doesn't look like the Kimmy are going to score, so this oh. might go into overtime 0 0. That sucks for Rusi. So Regor, so Regor ended up winning it, I assume. Yes. He did, didn't he? Yeah, Pele. Yeah, I remember that. I've heard a lot about that. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, that was a uh, blitz pit game. 3 nothing to K-Fog. A lot of unfortunate dice uh, and some decisions early on by Yak, but uh, well played by both. Commiserations, Yak. Commiserations, K-Fog, because he has to play more, I guess. I don't know. Congrats, Cat Yak. That's No, god damn it. Go to a like commercial. like to point out, that is Kefo's second straight 3-0 in Blitzfest. Wow. Yeah, it is. And I mean, that's the difference between, like, the dice, isn't it, really? Um, like, you know, the last time they played, <laughs> there was seven Kaz and three KOs, and Yak won this time. There was a Blitz, and there was some brutal double ones and stuff for Yak, and then it's 3-0. That's, the, like, you know, it's there's a lot of dice involved in there in these these kind of games, like one-off games like this. I think the double elimination obviously does help to alleviate it somewhat, but there's a lot of dice in these in these games. I think it's fair Were to we say. We just joined by. Kadenix says in chat if you want to watch Fufale and Larkstar over time now. Okay. Right. Right. Revenge. Oh, <laughs> good job, Kfo. Or or. We don't watch a lizard game, and we sit here talking to K. Fog about slavery. <laughs> no, let's not do that. Let's not. Do that. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think uh, uh, PC and Andy could easily go in all time as well. And, yeah, that game is being really good. That game's being streamed elsewhere, though, so I think they. No, it's the nobody covering the other one. I don't know. What? There should be. Yeah. What? Right, sorry, I was there. Uh... So, oh, yeah, Christopher, well, well, Christopher well done. probably covering it. No, Christopher is covering Andy. Mr. And Page Andy's is, covering Andy. Uh, Mr. Page is doing commentary yeah. as well. Okay. Right, well, uh, if we, uh, we'll, let, let's oh. talk about the game for a little bit and then we'll get in. Yep. Hello, Yak. <laughs> oh, also, Jim, you should probably end the YouTube. Yeah, well, I was thinking of, I don't know whether to talk before about the game before the YouTube or not, because people might want to hear from people now, mightn't they? Okay. Well, I'm going to mute and go AFK so that uh, we don't have six people trying to talk at once. I'll be back in a little bit for the next game. Okay, well, try has questions for, for KFOG. <laughs> sure. Put it on me, Jimmy, even though you have the same questions. <laughs> um, so, KFO, that uh, your offense was extremely aggressive. The yep. second offense, and it pretty much left um, Yak a pretty straightforward hit on the ball. Yep. And there was a lot of dice as well to protect it, so what was your thinking? Well, I'm thinking was mainly that even if he get a hit on it, it's not likely he's getting it anywhere. That was my main reason. I just wanted to get up 2-0 because from last time where he just... If he start chipping elves, then I could easily end up being 1-1. And if I start getting... If he, if he starts taking out pieces, then we'll easily end up in overtime with nobody left. So I decided I'd rather want to risk being aggressive and go for the 2-0 early. I kind of figured you'd maybe slow down a little bit and try and score in three instead of two because it's a little safer. But... It was mainly just because he left me. It was just that gaping hole <laughs> where I could hit with the wrist with, with the rest of which for two dice to, to get away the stand firmer down. It was only because of the gaping hole I decided to go for it. But yeah, it got a bit <laughs> awkward because it was like an early go for it to fail, so I couldn't do... I had I wanted to do even more. Yeah, I had some more dice I wanted to roll. Where I decided to just stick with him and let him do the three plusing and the two plusing. Yeah, yeah, I know it's a lot of that. It's fair if enough because humans. If Core allows me to to say this, uh, maybe I'm wrong because I've made plenty of more mistakes that he made in both games. Uh, the the part of the both matches where I felt that he was actually the 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 playing the weaker turns were. Exactly in those uh, drives where he had to score quickly in two turns, like in the overtime in our first match and in his drive in this first match. And uh, I, I, I didn't see that solidness that he spreads in every <laughs> turn, playing every three plus yeah. and four plus, <laughs> careless. But but that three plus on the witch, I, 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 I saw my, my comeback after a horrible first drive. Um, yeah, it's not some. To be fair, it's nothing. I do. I'm not used to play, try to push it in two turns. To be honest, so it's not my favorite thing of doing. And I get a bit cautious. So if I roll an early one on a go for it, I don't do all the go for it of one two, which I maybe should have done anyway. 
but even, if, even I do, like, if, past, if I do like if I do even, two more go for it, so, then... even the pass, the the, 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 the it, 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 a snake, which which happens, you don't need to to roll those snakes. The the, the, the naked path? pass and the naked catch uh, yes. on, on the two turns. Yeah. The, 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 you, you were so so naked in that play. I, I agree I, with uh, Yak here. Yeah, like, this I'm, basically I'm opened up. I'll say this, yeah. Kefo. Like it gave Yak a condition to get back into the game. Was my take at the time. I was like, yeah. this is the best chance Yak has to get back and into not, this no, game. No, no, not only that, if, if there is a snake there, I have a mighty blow on the uh, armor value seven witch, and I can start yeah. not only the, yeah. the, the comeback but the attrition. Yeah, you, you're right. If it fails, it's it's horrible. That's why I normally don't do it. Uh, but I didn't want to risk what happens in... I didn't actually want to risk what happened against Colion, where he just started moving my team apart and we ending up in a, in a overtime. <laughs> yeah, and it's funny, it's funny because it, it did... Really, it's funny that Yak mentions the previous game, because the previous game where, like, k had about six or seven dudes, and I thought you had to go for the two-turn. And then you set up to just kind of, like, play a normal drive with very few elves. And like me and Skuru were like screaming at you to like you know just bez down the sideline and you know try to oh. try to get a fast touchdown, and then you kind of try to play like a normal drive and obviously got attrition down. So maybe that was in your mind. It definitely was like an our first game where <laughs> with those two tackle mighty blow was just keep taking my team apart. <laughs> I was thinking if I if I make this and I if I make it a two 0 game, there's no way Yak is coming back from that. Yeah. That was my thinking, um, and luckily for me, it ended up working out that way. Yeah, I mean, uh, you yeah. certainly had you certainly had the the dice this time, careful. <laughs> yeah, so I do also okay. think. I do where think should I? Where should I have with... even that catcher when when he made the the last sack in 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 my drive? Uh, because I uh, surely there was a play where I could have hidden that catcher from being two D. But the best thing I came up, I came up with. Was uh, two naked two pluses uh, on that tackler, and and then a bunch of guys for the scatter to be harder to. Mm. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I did what I did think. Uh, Yak, after you had lost the ball and uh, and he had like the ball in the halfway line, you could have like done two Ds and stuff to free people to hit him with a tackle, and then you did the dodge with a catcher that failed. And I I hated that turn. That was. I hated that, but everything else, I yeah. mean, it was hard, that, wasn't it? It was a hard that, game. That turn, I, I even had the, the ogre block, which was a safer move than, than, than that one, than, than this opening with the one, one on nine. That opening with the, with the one on nine was, was crap. And it was because of the pressure that, that Keifu was having on me. Yeah. After after his his sack, there's there's no. Order. I thought you did a solid yeah. job though, Yak. Like you were under like insane pressure yeah, from yeah, the get go. Yeah. You didn't. Your offense got stolen immediately. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah know, it's, it it's funny. It wasn't that, it's that, funny that, that was the said, only thing that you I said that was kind when of I lost the ball. I I I never got the ball in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But no, you did. You did get it. At you one got point it back, though, but you, you never got it, it safe because of what yeah. happened at the start. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So when you lost the ball for like the third <laughs> time or whatever, I should have said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And, and I loved how how Core got out of of the pressure I put in in turn eight, my turn eight, and he yeah. he just. Three plus three plus his way out to a safe screen and. <laughs> yeah, the thing with and, that is, even if the three plus is failing, you you have no scoring chance. So it's a play to nothing to get him out again. And yeah, it's it's, it's, a right, it's the right best play. play. It, it's yeah. the right play to do. It's that's that's what I wanted to say. It's it, some some people will try to blitz from outside that mess and trying to to get a one D power or something. And actually, you did the best because it's three plus with reroll and three plus with reroll and the two plus. It's it's much better than, than yeah, and I probably put my reroll into it as well. So it's three plus three plus two plus for two rerolls. Yeah. What, what I what, what I had hopes to end up to, to turn this blitz and short kick into something good was was when I when you tried the four plus when you try you, you went for the four plus dodge in the sideline with the side stepper to blitz my my to one D. Ah oh, yeah, in the back yeah. That was a play I was expecting, and I was happy with that. That's, yeah. that's why I, I put my catcher uh, in contact with my 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 other catcher. So there was a, it was a four plus and a one D for the guard. Mm. Uh, 
turn out very 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 well for you. But I I, I could feel that if if you had failed that that four plus uh, dodging, it's at seventy five. Yeah. But if if I had you there with with a double school or something, that then movement eight running up the field with four turns was looking better for me. But, but I guess that didn't happen. Well, I'm sorry. I'm going to call it there because I didn't understand a word of that. This was probably something that people who played <laughs> remembered, and I have already forgotten it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, KFOG. Congratulations, KFOG. Thank you very much, Yak. Commiserations. Um, obviously, thanks to Try and Scuro as well for the commentary. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.